What's up, guys? You know, it's Korean MMA. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already done so. Hit one of those, comment what you think. I mean, I know I've been trying to get more stuff out, but in technical difficulties, you know, just haven't really getting those picks out for you. But I have, you know, had a few here on in Instagram. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to be more active for you guys on YouTube. Just try to get some discussions going. I mean, it was a good, it was a good card actually. I mean, I think this last one here, man, last week in UFC Fight Night, Dos Anjos versus Fiziev. I mean, it was, it was either, some people were either losing or you're winning. It was kind of like, it was a really mixed bag card. It was kind of hard to predict with just money line or rather just going by straight up picks. I mean, there's just some that don't. Case in point, you got to, it's just you got to go like with sometimes overs and things instead of us like trying to pick who's going to win every single time a lot of props will be uh good for you i mean shout out to here we go mma i mean basically i just got i just used his uh <clears throat> parlay we got the nice one i'll speak of I actually begin to speak about that we're, we're talking about the first fight on the card man i'm summoning again just trying to get this out here <laughs> as usual we got lawrence versus kakramanov i mean this was a, a tough one i was going back and forth like i get why kakramanov was a lot of people were kind of picking him even though lawrence was the favorite i thought that's nah, kind of tough Looking back, I like, you know, you like, it's kind of funny. You see, they're both so similar. They look kind of similar. They fight kind of similar. And I was trying to bring, break on this fight. I was talking about it on Instagram. And uh, when the play, that was the first leg of the party. It was, it's nice to just kind of get that out of the way. The first fight of the card, over 1.5 for this. I mean, we know they both guys are going to bang. We both, uh, that Lawrence can use the wrestling when he needs to. And they're pretty durable. So, uh, yeah, Kakarov, you got the, you got the United, United decision. It was, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a really good back and forth fight. I mean, some people didn't like it, I guess. I don't know why. Some people just want to see knock us all the time. But look, that's why you go for, you know, the over 1.5 for this. I mean, they're going to bang. It's good stuff, man. I mean, yeah, I saw Kakramanov, he, he had a lot, of, uh, a lot of shots in there. Like, back and forth, really good. I mean, apparently, uh, Lawrence had a staph infection. It looked like he had a little cut back behind his head or something. So, kind of made him feel ill, whatever that could be excused. But, I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, it's just Kakramanov always brings it. So, uh, yeah, it's just a really nice back and forth fight. And of course, after that, uh, Ntikwu versus Robertson. I mean, I, a lot of people picked Ntikwu to die. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if he was going to stay standing, Robertson was going to, you know, be able to, should be able to smash him. I mean, just, you know, uh, overall better striking ability. But Ntikwu, that's why it's MMA. He was, he, he was smart. Stick with the game plan. I didn't have a plan this, but for those that did, that's good. I mean, I saw some people putting that just straight up money line, just get him. I mean, it was good. Look at me, got the finally got the uh, KO with the elbows. Well, the TKO, actually. I mean, uh, you know, the ref stopped it. Round three of two, nine, two minutes and 19 seconds. Just like so much takedown, just takedown, round to round. And it is, is a, uh, it's going on, I was pleading with him to not, you know, not do that. Just like, just like try to work to his feet. But uh, yeah, I just, I mean, James Cross was talking about that too. Like, I mean, yelling him during the fight. I remember, uh, you know, just don't be happy just standing there like that. You need to like, it doesn't matter. Get, show your back if you have to. Just try to scramble any way you can. A lot of times you'll get these fighters that kind of like, they want to neutralize um, their opponent's, well, neutralize them, it's more like they're being neutralized, but what they want to do is kind of, they're trying to uh, mitigate the risk, right? They're trying to lessen the risk of getting, you know, elbows and getting hurt and stuff, which I get, but sometimes you got to go for it. You're going to lose anyway, just being on the bottom there, just being against the cage. You got to use that cage to your advantage. You just got to get up. But yeah, like I said, Ntukwe did a good job. Just stylistically, yeah, he knew what he had to do. So, I mean, it's nice. You can see that. You can see he's going to uh, use his uh, uh, wrestling when he used to. Uh, another one, Onama versus Armfield. Armfield, that was the next one too. I didn't have a plan this, but a lot of people, I took, I did pick Onama. I mean, it was a favorite for a reason. Uh, but man, Armfield is good. They apparently they trained together as well. And uh, you know, Armfield brought it. I thought he did a really good job. I mean, it was nice to kind of. Uh, this is his uh, first time really in the UFC. Uh, so, uh, but he he showed. I think he's he's a good uh, he's a good guy to look out for. I mean, it's, I liked. He just like I said. I mean, look, arm triangle got subbed in round two, three minutes thirteen seconds of round two. He got uh, you know arm triangle. So. Uh, good for Onama, just, you know, overall, just, you know, he's in that, he's more of that, uh, UFC caliber, just, you know, I, I think that Armfield, though, I feel like he'll get better, uh, it looked good, like I said, he brought it, you know, he's aggressive, good stuff, um, but yeah, overall, it's good, I, I think, that, like I said, these kind of fights, you're gonna go back and watch them and kind of, you'll remember them, all right, this guy fights this way, and, um, yeah, I, I would say it's not like, you know, Armfield did a good job, uh, coming up next, though, this one, this was, uh, the second leg of the parlay, from here we go, MA, Shevchenko versus Casey, now this one here, like I was like, you know, why even choose? And I talked about this too. You know, I, I told people why with women's MMA and especially with the way these both these fights, like you have some inconsistencies, inconsistencies. You know, judging the way it is, and we, we you know, we, these these girls like to kind of fight to uh, decision basically most of the time. So I, I mean, split decision all day. Like you, you can't be too confident in this. I watching the fight, I did think Casey did a little more. I, I think she was 
using, you know, her fundamentals, like, you know, boxing a little more. Shevchenko was too happy trying to throw that kick. I mean, I know she likes her doing a quick kick window. Has a nice kick and she would be, she would land up top, but I mean, she just didn't mix her way, mix it up enough. I think she could have, I mean, Casey was kind of, you know, doing more pressure and, and, and it's smart. When you have someone that's a kicker, it's good to kind of box. I mean, the, you know, your arms, that's the, the shortest distance, right? It's, it's the fastest uh, strike you can get out there, right? You got to go start boxing. Uh, but I, like I said, I thought Casey did it, but anyone that said robbery, this, that, the other, look, you know the over 1.5. You know the over is going to go for this. I always talk about this women's MMA. When you have two girls at women's MMA, you have inconsistency. I just don't see why you just parlay the money line in this. Like, it could go either way. I think Shevchenko got it, but I, I thought Casey actually won it. Looking back, I mean, maybe looking at stats, uh, maybe I can see why Shevchenko won. I mean, it seems like she kind of out, outstruck her. Uh, control time kind of favored uh, uh, Casey, though. You know, we got three minutes and eight seconds versus Shevchenko's only one minute and 50 seconds. So, But yeah, like I said, I, it seems like Maybe, you know, uh, Shevchenko landed total strikes, but I think Casey was more the aggressor, landed more damage, obviously. I mean, Shevchenko had the bloody nose and all that, but hey, you leave it to the judges, what happened? So over 1.5, thank goodness, I'll take it. I like it. I like, uh, you know, I just, it's nice when you can find those. Next one was like a a, 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 a banger. I don't even remember very much, but yeah, Brundish versus Gore. Yeah, I mean, Gore, a lot of people, some people are on Gore. I wasn't really like, I'm not really, wasn't really sold on this. I just didn't, it was more like a popcorn fight. And look at that. Brundage, I mean, more kind of like uh, known for being a tough guy and, and more of a wrestler, you know, more grappling based. But look, he got the overhand. Boom. Got him. And he was apparently, I think he was kind of losing that fight until he landed that, though. I mean, he's just a tough guy. Round one, three minutes and 50 seconds of round one, he lands that. My man just, you know, knocks him out. So, yeah, I mean, he was outlanding him anyway, too. And you get more control time, obviously, just because. But, um, yeah, just gore, you know, it's tough. Uh, a lot of people want to fade him and. So, you know, that's why it's kind of tough to be really confident that I, I just I wasn't touching it. The next one, I think is like fight of the night. Johnson versus Malarkey, man. Went to his decision. I, it's crazy how these guys, I mean, they're both durable, but I, how these guys just stay standing. I mean, you know, Johnson got freaking rocked. And then, you know, Malarkey is getting rocked over there. Sorry, as I was saying, I mean, just Johnson's getting rocked like that. And, but Johnson, like I said, he, I mean, Malarkey was kind of mixing up more, doing more uh, kickboxing. And uh, Johnson wanted to kind of just do his, you know, his boxing, his range, that one, two. But... He would he would uh he would recover and he started landing. I mean he hit Malarkey with some shots. Both of these guys, if you're talking about like Johnson showed, showed his toughness in the vet in him. He just he got he went back to it and he got like the I, I think like the first round first couple of rounds. I mean I get it though. Malarkey kind of won. It looked like Johnson I think won it. I, my opinion after watching the fight, I, I right my initial reaction after the 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 judges read their decision, I thought you know what I thought maybe Johnson got it, but I thought my look Malarkey. I mean he's. For sure, the last round, the third round, I, I would say definitely went to Johnson. I mean, he was rocking. I mean, he just hit Malarkey clean on the chin. You know, his head twisted, but Malarkey stayed standing, man. And uh, I, I get, though, like, Johnson, was, you know, the, those early knockdowns, like, for when he got knocked down, it just looks bad in the judge's eyes. I mean, but I, I think, I, like I said, I, I still think uh, Johnson had it. I was going, my pick was Malarkey. But after watching watching the fight, I thought Johnson got it. I think Malarkey just kind of got it, gifted that. Uh, and I know a lot of people were trying to partly Malarkey. I just stayed off it. I thought that just could go either way. You never know. I mean, Johnson's still dangerous. Like, he could either get... He gets clipped or, and, and loses, like, and, you know, gets KO'd, or he KO's the guy. So, I just thought... I don't know. I can, And I'm, I'm happy I also didn't take the fight, doesn't go distance, because I thought that at first, but I was like, you know, Malarkey doesn't really get KO'd, really. I mean, you know, he's very durable, and I thought, you know, if you're thinking it's going to get KO'd, it could happen, but I was like, I just... I was happy I didn't... I just kind of stayed off. It was more like popcorn for me. So, Malarkey, like I said... You had to take, take an advantage. I, I picked him, but I wasn't willing to bet him. And he still won. So in hindsight, yeah, maybe you think that's a good parlay. Like, but look, go watch that fight. I mean, it's, you know, I, I think, you're, you know, you got to be like kind of, you're just happy. You're just like, you know what I mean? You're lucky that the judges kind of saw it that way. I mean, it could have gone, I, I mean, it could have easily been gone gone for Johnson. So, um, but yeah, and that's right here there. Like, let's go on. The next one here, man, talking about that Zahibi versus Tur Tertios. Zahabi, man, actually, I, like I said, I mean, everyone in the, and their brother was picking Churchill's, except some people were being uh, Zahabi because of value. Good for them because uh, <laughs> Churchill's came out there just very, uh, the most lackluster performance, I would say. Um, he was out there, he's like being very aggressive, but the thing is, you can't just wait for the guy. I mean, Zah Zahabi was like, Zahabi was, I'm sorry, just mispronouncing his name constantly. Zahabi, I mean, he did what he had to do. He's, when you see them fight, he was doing more of the fundamentals, right? Okay, that nice inside leg kick. He was chopping with the leg of Churchill's. And he would do like, you know, boxing at the high guard and just kind of try to throw a one-two, jab out there a little bit. He was, he did what he had to do just to kind of survive. And, and Churchill's were like, no, let me, come on, man. Let me do a spinning back kick on you, you know? <laughs> let me try to just get my high, high kick up there. And he was throwing, but uh, not enough feints, Churchill's. This is like a really bad... I wish his coaches would have uh, kind of talked to him after that first round, just like kind of uh, helped him adjust his uh, 
his game plan. I mean, that's on Tertius, though, himself. I mean, he's a no, he should have kind of, you know, switched up a little bit. I think no feints, just kind of going. And I think that was really lackluster, so it's really tough. I mean, he needs to really kind of go to the drawing board. I think he will get better. Uh, but like I said, that was just, you know, I'm just happy I didn't really parlay that. I know everyone's on Tertius, and some people are taking Zahabi for the uh, underdog value, but I thought, you know, just happy it was like watching it as a popcorn fight. But yeah, just Tertius underperformed. Uh, and the next one, dude, Vandera versus Sherman. <laughs> that was funny. That was a fun one. I don't know why people were saying it, it wasn't a good fight. I was like, some people, some people said that, like, oh, it's crap. I'm like, no, dude, this is for this is what it was. It kind of delivered. I mean, they're sloppy heavyweights. Hey, shout out to Vandera. I, I put him on my Instagram. Like, uh, you know, he he's, he likes anime and the most. He's a man of culture, as we say, right? He doesn't even like. like I mean, he doesn't even like like some uh, more. Uh, let's just say more highly praised anime. He's like watching Haram anime. A fucking high school love anime. I don't know. It's crazy stuff. Like just <laughs> hey, my friend him. Do him. He's got some. He likes all kinds of music too. He likes corn, which is cool. He has painted nails in there as usual. Van Der, it's always hard to, to back up. I mean, you know, we all know the story. He goes in there and with this or with Sherman. The thing was this: the the narrative is like, look, you got two heavyweights. You think you're gonna swing and bang, and they're both kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, like Sherman was like kind of brought. He was like not in the UFC. Then they brought him back for a, uh, you know basically a layup. They kind of brought him as a uh, um, a short. A last minute replacement then so that you know i think the UFC likes that like you know what you come in there you, you go and fight and you you, you stand up up to the plate when you need to so we'll give you this and vendor himself as well is like you know what we need someone a, a sling and bang kind of fight and vendor just like he, he should have had the grappling advantage though i just he was just too happy with, with you know he had success so he's doing the low kick sherman obviously like the better boxer i mean we knew that was gonna that's the way it was gonna be but vendor he was like he's a big dude he's like you know what You'll hit me with your boxing, but I'm, I'll land something heavy of my own. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put some kicks in there. He's yeah, I mean, kicks is nice, but I think he just he, he got he uh, got into. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, it's just like when Pereira knocked out Strickland. You know, last card. It's just like I think Strickland knew, knew he should have just gone for this grappling, but he thought, you know what? I'm having success on the feet. I can hang with you. You get your ego get into it. You got to go like in Chukwu. You got to do what he did. You know, like you know what? No, I'm gonna use my brand better. What's my advantage? Bender could have tried to go on for the you know, take down, and he should have had the grappling advantage, he's a bigger dude too, could have helped him, but nope, he gets, uh, yeah, freaking KO'd in round three, three minutes, ten seconds, like, just ten, with dude, it was so crazy, because I was actually, it was not a bet I took, but I remember I was thinking, like, fight doesn't go distance, I, I kind of had, like, a personal, this, like, little bet with uh, my brother on this, and it's like, I thought, you know, fight doesn't go distance, and I was like, holy crap, thank goodness, because, you know, three minutes and ten seconds in, he gets stopped, Sherman got, you know, Vendor out there with the boxing, just too much, so, uh, yeah, it, like I said, it's as for, it was like a very much heavyweight fight. This is like what I would, I think this is a, yeah, this kind of ended, ended in the way I thought. Um, well, in a way, I just thought fight doesn't go distance. So didn't really put that in a parlay, just had a, like a personal bet, you know, with my brother. But yeah, um, this one and the next one, dude, Silva, man, Silva and Draj versus Nurmagomedov. That was in the parlay. That was the last leg of the parlay, I think, you know, for here we go. I may shout him out again. Uh, Silva and Draj, I like him. Like we all know he's a good fighter. He's always like, you know, Jack, I'm, I'm sure he's got those tainted Brazilian or Mexican uh, supplements, maybe, but he's always in, in, you know, very stocky, very in shape. He, you know, we know he's doing the capoeira spinning kicks. We know he's going to end, end in the grappling. You know, he's durable. Like, it was really good, man. It's a fun one. But Nurgamidov, look, tall. And I, I thought, you know what? Some people were saying maybe Nurgamidov by a sub, but I was like, yeah, I mean, with Dan Draj's Brazilian back, Brazilian jiu-jitsu background, I was like, I don't think, it's not, he's going he's gonna to be tough to be to sub. And, you know, I was like, I like that Nurgamidov. He did what he had to do. He got the mass decision. I wasn't sure he was going to go with Nassus, isn't though, but, um, yeah, just money line was straight up. I mean, he was a big favorite, and I get there's value on Andrade, but not really, like, dude, I'm sorry, but he's a good fighter. You know, you can't fade him all the time, but Nurmagomedov, just size, youth, he's got, you know, and he's, I mean, look, you know he's going to do. Nurmagomedov is not going to just going to go silly in there. He's going to land when he needs to. He lands some nice stuff, the nice kicks, too, uh, but, and he's always got his uh, grappling to fall back on, so, yeah, uh, happy he got the win. Good stuff, man. And Baralho versus Petrosan. Actually, with this one, when Bro is such a big favorite, and I get it. Why? Um, I even drew a little caricature of him on my Instagram. I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. I was bored there, and I thought, eh, why not? It's just <laughs> interesting. He's got, like, the crazy Sharpie, <laughs> you know, looking tattoos and stuff. But um, I thought Petroson actually had a good chance because, I mean, on the feet, it should I thought, he would, you know, Bro, big guy, got power in the hands. He's wild, and he has a submission game. So, But I, it's interesting that Bro, at least from a betting perspective, like, it's good that he, I mean, he made it the fight maybe quote unquote boring, but he did what he had to do. He, he got him down because, you know, Petrosan should have known that, you know, he gets taken down. That's his, 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 his uh, that is his kryptonite, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, he, it's not like when he fought like, you know, Gregor Rodriguez, Mr. Robocop, you know, it's just different. He's not, he wasn't happy to stand there. Bro Hale said, no, 
I know you you're, you know you got a, a good kickboxing background, so I'm gonna take you down. I have to. Uh, but yeah, Broja, like I said, maybe not winning many fans over with that performance, but he did what he had to do, and I liked it in the speech. Look, he's a guy, he'll fight for your money in that. You know, when you, if you had money on Brajo, you're happy about that, you know? But uh, yeah, I, I didn't really play it, though. Uh, and, and this one here, finally, main event, Dos Anjos versus Fiziev. This went how I predicted. If you look at my Instagram, um, yeah, I, I, I pretty much called it. I said, I get it. People want to put Dos Anjos as an underdog. I, I like Dos Anjos as a fighter. We all know it. Uh, you know, he's got the experience, he's got the cardio, he's got the grappling. But see, Fizio has the power edge, he's you, you, more youthful. And obviously, I mean, you know, he's got the youth on his side, he's got the power on his side. And I thought that's striking. I thought, you know what, it's just hard to fade Fizio in this. I was like, you know what, uh, I get it. You want to put, I even said the overs for this. I didn't play it, but I, I should have, I wish I would have put it, that in as another leg. But I even said, if you're going to, if you're thinking Dos Anjos is going to win, then instead, I said instead, then you're basically saying, you know, it's going to go over 1.5 rounds because Dos Anjos is not going to get him out there you know, in the first round or save in second round. I, I don't think, you know, so, I mean, it's like over 1.5, I said, you know, it's going to hit because you're, if you're thinking, does I instead of that, I may mean, get it as an underdog, but I mean, look, you're saying, because he's probably going to win by decision, right? He's probably not going to sub, because you're probably not going to knock him out. You know, he's more like kind of want to grind you out. You know, you see how he fights. He wants to, you know, add some nice striking there, get close to you, grapple with you a little bit and risk and repeat. Um, but Fiziev, yeah, I mean, he, he held up, I mean, just the striking, I mean, I knew it. And you could see it, it just kind of went, you know, you see the striking, you know, the sun is a good striker, but you could see the difference, the speed and the pop and the shots. I mean, there's obvious, there's an obvious uh, power advantage for, for Fiziev. And um, yeah, I like that uh, Fiziev was able to do that. Like, look, when you have, when you have a striking uh, advantage and you know your guy likes to use grappling, you got to work on that takedown defense. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, all this time, during his Muay Thai, he's not, he doesn't just do strict pure Muay Thai, he, he's adapted to MMA, and I think he's done really well, and I liked how he reset, you know, he even said, like, he, he ate too much, he had, like, his, he upset his stomach, like, what the hell, eating pasta, is an excuse, but if he's performing like that, I mean, that, that's great, you know, I mean, like, no matter what, I don't care if you have injuries, all this stuff, you gotta go out there and fight, so, yeah, great stuff, man, and Fizio have got it, I uh, wish I would have played that 1.5 for that as well, but, you know, just didn't, but I did call it. <laughs> just like you know, just a blow bragging right. But anyway, that's all it, it is. Got and these are some lessons we have to think about. That we take these lessons when you see them going to the next fight. You know, I hope you guys made some profit on this. Those are gambling. If not, it's always next weekend. And and use this kind of you know, you got to go back. Just like as I went back and and reviewed the fight over my with my head. I'm looking at the stats here. You got to it's, it's it's intel that we're getting. We're trying to make we're trying to correct our mistakes and and, and we're trying to find what we did right and we're trying to uh, recreate that right so good luck to you guys and just enjoy the fights like subscribe again please it does help me to get more stuff out comment what you think about the fights if you did well you didn't do well what you want to change and how you can make profit next week peace